Jeff Bezos doesn't know who Diplo is. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how Jeff Bezos doesn't know who Diplo is. Let's get right into it. Jeffrey Preston Bezos, born Jorgensen on January 12th, 1964, is an American business magnate, media proprietor, investor, and commercial astronaut. He is the founder, executive chairman, and former president and CEO of Amazon. With a net worth of 121 billion US dollars as of March 2023, Bezos is the third wealthiest person in the world, according to both Bloomberg's Billionaires Index and Forbes. Having a massive fortune and being considered one of the wealthiest individuals in the world does not necessarily guarantee that a person is very well versed in popular culture and current trends. In the case of Jeff, it seems that he may not be as hip or in touch with the latest musical acts as some may expect. For example, he may not be familiar with Diplo, a prominent American DJ and music producer who has collaborated with numerous pop artists and has achieved considerable success in the music industry. Diplo, born Thomas Wesley Pence, on November 10, 1978, is a renowned American DJ and music producer. He is the lead member and co-creator of Major Lazer, an electronic dancehall music project, a member of supergroup LSD with Sia and Labyrinth, a member of electronic duo Jack Yu with Skrillex, and a member of Silky City with Mark Ronson. Diplo also founded and manages the record company Mad Decent and co-founded the non-profit organization Heaps Decent. In 2013, his EP Revolution debuted at number 68 on the US Billboard 200 with the title track featured in a commercial for Hyundai and on the WWE 2K16 soundtrack. MIA, a British musician Diplo dated, is credited with helping to expose him in his early career. Diplo, MIA and producer Switch went on to create the Jamaican dancehall project and cartoon series Major Lazer. Diplo has since collaborated on production and mixtape projects with numerous other pop artists, including Gwen Stefani, The Antwerp, Britney Spears, Madonna, Shakira, Beyonce, Ellie Goulding, No Doubt, Justin Bieber, Usher, Snoop Dogg, Trippy Red, Chris Brown, CL, G Dragon, Bad Bunny, Kali Yukis, Joji, Mo, and Poppy. His childhood fascination with dinosaurs inspired his alias, which is short for Diplodocus. Although both Bezos and Diplo are successful in their respective fields, they may not be familiar with each other's work. While Diplo has established himself as a prominent DJ and music producer, Bezos has made his fortune as an entrepreneur, investor, and media proprietor. It's not surprising that they may not have initially recognized each other. In fact, when they first met, Bezos did not know who Diplo was. When Jeff and Diplo first met, they likely engaged in a brief conversation to introduce themselves and get to know each other better. It's possible that Jeff may not have immediately recognized Diplo or know much about his work in the music industry. Therefore, he may have asked Diplo what his name was in order to begin the conversation and learn more about him. Despite his incredible success in the business world, Jeff may have limited exposure to the music industry and may have been genuinely curious to learn more about Diplo's work as a DJ and music producer. It's understandable that someone like Jeff Bezos may not be familiar with Diplo or his work in the music industry. As one of the wealthiest and most successful businessmen in the world, Jeff's areas of expertise may not necessarily overlap with those of Diplo, who has established himself as a prominent DJ and music producer. It's possible that Jeff's busy schedule and professional priorities have not given him much opportunity to explore or appreciate the kind of music that Diplo creates. Although Diplo's accomplishments in the music industry are highly impressive, Jeff's expertise lies in different fields such as e-commerce, space exploration, and media. Therefore, it's not surprising that he may not be fully aware of Diplo's contributions to the music industry. Diplo was born on November 10, 1978, in Tupelo, Mississippi. He grew up in Miami where he developed an interest in the Miami-based music scene. Diplo attended the University of Central Florida, where he became a DJ at a local radio station called WPRK. He later moved to Philadelphia to study at Temple University, where he gained popularity as a DJ. Diplo's interest in music led him to travel to Delhi, India, at the age of 20. He traveled across India on an Enfield motorcycle, visiting places like Ladakh, Rishikesh, and Calcutta. After returning to Philadelphia, he met DJ Low Budget, and the two started throwing parties under the name Hooked on Hollertronics in 2003. These parties allowed them to control the music they played during DJ gigs and gain recognition in the music scene. Diplo and Low Budget released mixtapes, both individually and together, under the Holotronics name, which became popular across the country. One of their mixtapes, Never Scared, was named one of the New York Times' top 10 albums of 2003. The parties hosted by Holotronics became famous for featuring guests like M.I.A., Spank Rock, Maluka Mala, and Bun B. Diplo's particular interest in a genre of music called Bale Funk or Favela Funk led him to produce a series of mixtapes, Favela on Blast, Favela Strikes Back, which helped introduce Brazilian dance music to the United States. 
While Diplo has certainly achieved a lot of success in his music career, it's true that he may not have the same level of recognition or influence as someone like Jeff Bezos. Bezos, after all, is the founder and former CEO of Amazon, one of the world's largest companies, and he has a net worth in the billions of dollars. That being said, Diplo's impact on the music industry cannot be ignored. He has won multiple awards and has worked with some of the biggest names in music, such as Justin Bieber, Beyonce and Madonna. He is also a founder of the record label Mad Decent, which has helped launch the careers of many up-and-coming artists. While Diplo's success may not compare to that of Bezos in terms of business, his influence in the world of music is certainly noteworthy. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.